Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the doctor of common sense. Now, you heard that Jamie Foxx got rushed to the hospital. Now, what do you suppose the reason he got rushed to the hospital? Now, his family released a statement, and they call it a medical emergency. Okay, let me listen. Let, what do you think it is? Because I already know what it is. I didn't want to say it early, but I already know what it is. It's that what they call, I like to call it that dope. I don't know what kind of drugs he was on. Maybe he's using the same kind of stuff that Kanye West was using, lithium or whatever. But you remember, you think I forgot about it, but because he was doing an interview, Jamie Foxx was. And Jamie Foxx tells a fantastic story. The, 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 the boy is good at telling stories. Jamie Foxx was talking about the episodes that Kanye West was having. I believe they didn't put Kanye West in a home. Now, he disappeared all of a sudden. But Kanye West was saying something to the same effect that they were giving him something and they was trying to institutionalize him. Hollywood will destroy you, has destroyed many other people. The music industry has destroyed many other people. But you remember what Jamie Foxx said in an interview? He said he can relate to what Kanye West was going through because he had one of those episodes too. I know Kanye don't come from a, a, a bad place. Right. And here's it. And when he talked about the drugs, the mental drugs, I've had an episode of that. Really? So when he was talking about, yo, I, you know, I went in for two pills and the seven pills, that's real. Mm. And when that is happening, I was lucky enough to have people like my sister, like my family say, yo, you can't go out right now. And when he had his particular episode, he was renaming things. He was calling like the table uh, 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 Nicaragua. Cause you you sound you talk crazy. Wow. Cause I was saying, cause I in my little situation, I thought everybody here renamed everything in the world. Like really? this was a donkey, this was Nicaragua. I mean, I'm going, you know, <laughs> doing the wrong shit at the club. Whatever it was, he was just renaming things. I guess he thought he he, he started like uh, doing a rename like a transgender. I'm not for sure. But this is a prime example of dealing with the Hollywood crowd. Now, whenever somebody is really talented. Hollywood wants to get them hooked on drugs. The music industry wants to get them hooked on drugs. Just go through it. Judy Garland, uh, Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, Prince, Jimi Hendrix, Marilyn Monroe, John Belushi. The list goes on and on. Almost everybody who goes to Hollywood or become real famous, they get hooked on drugs. Because for some reason, when these people are real talented, they got fragile egos and they're easy to manipulate. I don't know what they're dealing with these Hollywood crowd. Most of them are perverse and they're on drugs too. So what they want to do is get you hooked on drugs. When you see these people acting a nut job, like what's in that little girl, Britney Spears. You see how she's acting right now? That's that dope. See, that dope will make you act like that right there. You can tell when they got on that dope because they start acting real, real strange. You start carrying out like this and then they try to, have their family come in, and their family is part of the problem. But the reason that Jamie Foxx was, this is why they call it a medical emergency. I guess ingesting drugs is a medical emergency because it's obvious what it is. This ain't his first time. Jamie Foxx was telling another story. He said that he was in a hotel room with a famous actress. He said he's not going to say her name. We could speculate, but I don't want to speculate. He said he was in the room with her. She was doing cocaine. He said he wasn't doing cocaine because he's a very religious person. And he was making a joke out of that. I ain't saying no names, but I was in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a hotel room with a very prominent actress, and she was doing cocaine. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> so he might do prescription drugs and non-prescription drugs. He said that this woman he was in the hotel room with was so high on cocaine she thought he was Rick Fox. I was not doing that. I don't do that because of my religious beliefs. But she does the cocaine. She says, I'm a bad mother. And then she goes, wow, I didn't think I would be in this room doing cocaine with Rick Fox. She thought I was Rick Fox is light skinned. You know, he played for the Boston. He played for Boston. Yeah. Played basketball. He was married to M Michelle. Uh, what's her name? To Michelle Williams. Vanessa Williams. I'm going to say Michelle Williams. Vanessa Williams, for a little while there, he was a famous basketball player. He said this woman was so high that she thought he was Rick Fox. He and Rick Fox don't look nothing alike. That's what that dope would do to you. I tell people, stay away from that dope, boy. Not drugs. Let's stop calling it drugs. 
When people ruin their life and do this kind of stuff, drugs is aspirin. Drugs is this prescription over-the-counter drug. But when you got prescription drugs that's over-the-counter, even if it's over-the-counter, when it gets people strung out, I don't care if you want to say fentanyl or some of these other prescription drugs that have people it's just as worse as cocaine to me. And so technically speaking, Jamie Foxx had a medical condition. It's called dope. That's a medical condition. And I just we just talked about it on the live live broadcast. Uh, we was we was talking about uh, what's happening in New York. They say that most of the workers in New York now are like zombies because of legalized marijuana. See, this is the problem when you like to get high all the time. And everybody thought it was a good thing. The libertarians and everybody thought doing drugs is going to be great. We'll legalize marijuana. Now, there's some uh, marijuana that could be uh, helpful to people's health. But most of the people who's doing marijuana, it ain't got nothing to do with your glaucoma or none of that. It's people who like to get high. Just be honest. I like to get high. Because this is the problem in Hollywood. This problem with the actors and everything else. Go look at the stars who have died and the athletes or whatever. Just look at all the people who's ruined their life over drugs. Drugs is a bad thing. So what makes you think legalizing drugs all of a sudden is going to make everybody uh, be, be more coherent? Of course it's not. Jamie Foxx was on that dope. He may have got to hold some bad dope. I don't know what he was doing. Remember there was a scene in New Jack City when uh <laughs> when Chris Rock was playing Pookie and they had brought him in there. He was by he started dancing and carrying that. He said, What's wrong? This boy high? Boy, you high some? Then the old mom, he said, You five oh? He said, Take this boy outside and kill it. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Jamie Foxx is doing a new movie. And um he got what's the little actress name? Um said her name earlier. She came out of retirement. And she came out of retirement, and it says she's stressed out in, on the movie set. She probably didn't that dope. You get this stressed out on the movie set. This is what happens. How stressful can you be just doing a movie? Mm -mm. It's more. It's more to it than that, right there. It's because these folks be getting high. They can't even work without getting high. That's what happens. So he was filming a new movie. He had to be rushed. Lay off that dope. and That's why he played Ray Charles so good. Because remember, Ray Charles was on that dope too. This is why he played Ray Charles so good. He played he played that scene so good because he was used to getting high. Yeah, you know Jamie Foxx get high. And I'm a little suspicious, Jamie Foxx, that you haven't told us more stories about what P. Diddy was doing. Because not only do P. Diddy be having those parties, P. Diddy be having those gay parties. Kind of like Dwayne Wade was having. Kind of like uh, Will Smith was having. It's what they do at these parties. You get high enough, ain't no telling what they're going to film you. Then they're going to blackmail you. Then they, they make you actually keep doing what you're doing. That's what happened. Now, you know what P. Diddy said. At least that's what the rumor he says. He said, you got real power if you can make a man give you a blowjob. That's what they say P. Diddy said. Um, but this young woman walked in to get approval on some paperwork. Let's see. <laughs> and, uh... When she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to believe it because everybody really knows that P. did it goes both ways, right? I mean, is that not a shock to anybody? But anyway, um, and just in passing, I, I was just reading that Foxy Brown just came out and said when she was 15, Jay-Z gave her gun real when she was 15. So Hollywood ain't no place for teenagers. You teenagers that get ruined, you go to Hollywood. Don't let your child go over there. Uh, uh These Hollywood will ruin your child. Get them hooked on drugs and everything. That's why you see all these these little child actors. They lost their mind. Like everybody who played on Different World. That was a that was a clean cut show, right? Different World. Everybody who plays on on that show, the daughter, uh, uh, Willis. And and the parents took the money from Gary Coleman. I don't know. I don't, I forgot what the daddy did too. But this is what the uh, Hollywood does to you. it ruins people, man. That's why people don't be they don't be stable. They need drugs to survive anymore. So let's just be clear. Let's let, don't let's not sugarcoat it. Jamie Foxx was on that dope, so they rushed him to the hospital. That's the medical emergency. So let's stop trying to sugarcoat it. Uh, Jamie Foxx, you might have to back up off that dope a little bit, boy.
Because that dope going to do you. You're going to be running like Kanye West after a while. You'll be thinking that uh, Adolf Hitler is a good person. You keep on you keep on messing with that dope. Boy, that dope ain't to play with. I'm telling you. Kids, if you're listening to me right now, say no to dope. Not drugs. Say no to dope. Because that dope will mess you up. And it'll make you think it's your friend. Remember the story that Richard Pryor says? Richard Pryor said he used to get high so, so often that he was he was in a free basin. And he says that he, he was free basin. He tried to put the pipe down. The pipe started talking to him. See, this is what happens when people get on drugs. The pipe started talking to him. He said, Rich, I'm your only friend. You going to put me down now, Rich? That's what that drugs do to you. It make you get high. Have you ever been around a per person who's high? Especially those crackheads. They be looking down. They be they be paranoid and stuff. See, this is why it's so suspicious about Hunter Biden. All the crackheads that I once knew, they were paranoid. You said, God. And they get scared. Hunter Biden is the only crackhead I know that videotapes himself and uploads himself being high. Most people smoking that crack are so paranoid that they don't want to be around. I mean, they think everybody's the cops. I mean, they're thinking that the cop is coming out the lampstand. Jamie Foxx says that he was renaming stuff and the people had stopped him from coming outside. Is that dope? That's what I'm talking about.